This episode is officially sponsored by Fishing Clash. Over the years, there's been a looming question haunting the Brave Wilderness YouTube channel comment section. Coyote, will you get punched by mantis shrimp? That alien looking creature right there is famous for having the fastest punch in the animal kingdom. And today we're going to answer the question as to whether or not it can blast a hole in a human hand. The acceleration rate of a mantis shrimp strike has been scientifically clocked around 50 miles per hour, similar to the rate at which a 22 caliber bullet leaves the barrel of a gun. They use this strike to kill their prey, an oceanic buffet line of crustaceans and fish. To better understand what a prey species might experience when impacted by that strike, I'm going to bravely embrace the slapshot wrath of Stinger. All right, Stinger, here we go, buddy. Currently, the Columbus Blue Jackets angry looking insect holds the NHL mascot record for fastest slap shot, scorching goals at 75 miles per hour. To replicate a mantis shrimp prey species, such as a crab, I'll be armoring up in full goalie gear, which like a crab's protective exoskeleton, will work to defend the soft insides of my body. Don't ask me why, but I have a feeling that this is still going to be painful. Boom! I feel like you should just punch me in the chest once so that I can just feel, oh yeah! So just that impact is noticeable. I feel like these pads have the least amount of protection on the chest, strangely enough. In the NHL, most players fire slap shots between 80 and 100 miles per hour. Stinger is capable of whipping consistent zingers between 50 and 60 miles per hour, which is pretty fast for a mascot. So how does that equate to impact force? Well, for starters, the equation to measure impact force looks like this. Where M is the mass of the body, the hockey puck, V is the velocity or speed at which the hockey puck is traveling, and T is the time it takes to make impact. Save your brain the mental math. We ran the calculations, and a hockey puck traveling 50 miles per hour has an impact force of 5.24 newtons. That might not seem like much, but trust me, even with my exoskeleton padding, when those pucks hit in the right spot, they definitely hurt. Oh man, that was a full on impact. Well, if I was a crab, I would definitely be dead at this point and the mantis shrimp would be feasting upon my remains. Okay, I think we're ready to film. Coyote! Yeah, yeah, just a minute. Dude, what are you doing? I'm about to catch a red belly catfish. Red tail catfish, check that out. All right, Coyote Pack. We're moments away from me getting into the punch zone with the mantis shrimp. For years, you guys have been asking me to be punched by one of these tiny boxers so that we can answer the question, is a mantis shrimp capable of blasting a hole in a human hand? And since this is an episode you guys have been requesting, I wanted to give you all the chance to catch your own mantis shrimp. So I collaborated with one of my favorite mobile games, Fishing Clash, to design a mantis shrimp exactly like my little buddy here. You better believe it, we created an exclusive mantis shrimp for this game and it is catchable in the first level between December 17th and December 31st. Fishing Clash is free to download. It's an adventure that takes you around the world to fish for pretty much any species you can imagine. The graphics are insanely realistic and you can catch what seems like an endless variety of species. That's cool, you use this game, cast out your line, you can pick different rods, different tackle. Ooh, fish on, fish on. Nice, 13, 14, it's all about trying to get the combo. Amazing, and we got it, great catch. <laughs> Heck of a catch right there. Now, if you can catch this tiny boxer, you will receive a pack full of unique prizes 
made specifically for fans of Brave Wilderness. A unique avatar, a badge, and a dual card, which refer to our channel. Ooh, and this is cool. You can also join clans with your friends and family. So if you want to be a part of the Coyote Clan, I'm in the game as Coyote Peterson. Ooh, nice, there we go. Now, I'm totally hooked. I've been playing it for a while now, and I've learned that one of the best tactics for catching bigger fish is to upgrade your tackle based on the environment. Just a little tip if you hope to land a monster-sized sea creature. Oh, reeling them in, combo. Nice. Honestly, this is the most entertaining mobile game I have ever played. Download it today, and with my gift code, Mantis Shrimp, get an awesome reward for free. Oh, and it gets better. You will get one mythical lure card, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups, a combo that will most certainly help you land a mantis shrimp and countless other fish species. Now that you're ready to catch the mantis shrimp in the game, I think it's time for me to get into the ring and go hand to hammer with this tiny boxer. The peacock mantis shrimp is a cunning predator and its merciless strike is inflicted using raptorial appendages. These medieval looking weapons come equipped with a smasher and a spear, allowing the animal to use one or both tools based on the victim it plans to eviscerate. What's more impressive is the shrimp's ability to create a cavitation bubble. Formed when an object, like the smasher club of a mantis shrimp, moves through water at an incredibly high speed. Remember, our little crustacean friend Strike has an acceleration rate of 50 miles per hour. When the bubble collapses under surrounding pressure, it creates a burst of high energy light, heat, and sound. Basically, a catastrophic shockwave that stuns or kills the shrimp's target. So what do you get when you combine the smasher's lethal impact and an exploding cavitation bubble? Nature's most deadly strike, also known as fatality. Now, to test out the punch of the mantis shrimp, in my opinion, there are two different ways that this can go down. A defensive punch or a predatory punch. A defensive punch would work like this, and it's the first thing we're gonna try. Imagine an eel investigating the underwater environment. Now, mantis shrimp are incredibly territorial, and if that eel sticks its nose down into a mantis shrimp's hole, bop, it's gonna get a shot straight to the nose. So I'm going to turn my fingers, essentially, into the nose of an eel. Oh, look, he's coming right out at me. All right, it's definitely curious. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm an eel investigating around the rocks, looking around in the sand, coming this direction. Oh boy, okay, I think the mantis shrimp is definitely on to me. I could see its eyes twitching. The little antenna up front beginning to sense that a possible predator's near. Definitely investigating my fingers. Oh, 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 he just hit me right in the tip of my fingernail. Not very hard though, just a tiny little test punch. By no means was that a full on swing. I'd call that investigative. I think we have failed on the defensive punch tactic. He just tickled the tips of my fingers and realized this isn't gonna eat me and this isn't something that I can eat. So how are we going to possibly then pull off a predatory punch? Great question. This mantis shrimp eats a variety of different prey items. One specifically is known as a krill. And with these strapped to my fingers, will it come out and try to remove them off of my fingers using its hammers and quite possibly its harpoon? I have a feeling that if a punch is going to happen, it's coming from the predatory approach. Now they have an incredible sense of smell and an incredible sense of sight. And right now, because we were attempting the predatory punch, he seems to be pretty chill and just tucked down in the rocks. Let me try to get my fingers a little, oh, there's the antenna. Now sensing the shrimp, okay, something's happening. Okay. Oh, it's definitely going for him. Grappling, but not, oh, he's grabbing away from me. No, 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 he's got one, shoot. He did not punch, he's just grabbing. Oh, this is the right idea though. Ah, those little claws are so sharp, he literally stole one of the shrimp off the lower fingers. And now, oh he's got a mouthful of shrimp. 
Come back in. They are gluttonous though, and from previous feedings, we know that he will take more pieces of food than he normally needs just to stow them away under the sand. And that's what they'll do sometimes, kill a crab or bust open the shell of a clam and take the insides and hide them and actually come back for them later on, caching their food and storing it for later. Ding, ding, ding. All right, guys, I think the fight is over. And while I hate to admit it, I'm officially declaring myself the loser. The mantis shrimp didn't win by knockout, but it did win by stealing the fight. It tore the shrimp right off of my fingers and now is back in its corner enjoying a meal. So what did we learn today? Well, a mantis shrimp raised in captivity doesn't seem to be as aggressive as we had hoped. I was barely punched once, definitely didn't hurt, tickled with its claws, and without question did not feel the wrath of its harpoon. Now would a mantis shrimp in the wild behave differently when defending its territory? Could quite possibly be the case. So is the hype and the aggression level of mantis shrimp all that it's built up to be? Or are these creatures simply misunderstood, beautiful, curious, and charismatic? I'm gonna go with the latter in this instance. But who knows, maybe at some point there will be a rematch and I will get the chance to ultimately get blasted by a mantis shrimp. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Catching a mantis shrimp in real life would be a painfully bad idea, but a good idea would be trying to land one in Fishing Clash. Remember, you have the chance to meet this shrimp face to face and get your prize for a limited time between December 17th and December 31st. If you catch the shrimp, you will receive a unique avatar, badge, and dual card made specially for the Coyote Pack. Download Fishing Clash for free and use my gift code, Mantis Shrimp, to get some awesome power-ups to help play the game.